Are we already on six? Yep. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm sorry, I wasn't sure whether or not I was in panto time or actually at full count, so due to the fact that everything so far has been stage managed very badly. However, what I would like to say, if you do want to see a panto, there is an excellent one at the Playhouse, and, and tickets are still available. So, I, I would like to read out my question, if I may, because I would like to go on record so that the representatives of the church and the directors of Leisure Zone absolutely know collectively what our concerns are over this one. So the leader of the council, would you agree with me that it's important that all councillors on the planning committee are independent in regards to any decisions they make as a collective committee? Whilst not making any reference to the actual planning appeal, would you please reassure all councillors that as stated in the CR see church's open letter that you like me oppose the derogatory comments that the committee were and i quote so openly discriminating against a christian church and that the councillors on this committee so easily swayed that we see the infutable discrimination against our organization and church in light of this church's statement can you question why officers have been accepted such an appeal, which is so unfair, unbalanced application in this type or format? Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Um, I'd also like to agree about the answer why the seems we brought it up. Fantastic play. Really enjoyed it when I went with the family all week. You were very good in it. Thank you ever so much. Was that you in that dress? Not <laughs> <laughs> uh, But in response to your actual question, Councillor, the letter referred to in the question relates to an appeal statement issued by the CRC Church in relation to their planning application for part of the Leisure Zone site. This is an appeal made to the Independent Planning Inspectorate and not to Harlow Council. It is the Planning Inspectorate that has accepted the appeal not Harlow Council officers. Any appellant is entitled to make their own statement to the inspectorate, and as it's now part of a formal appeal process, the council cannot request a retraction of their statement. The council is simply a party to the appeal process and is not in control of it. However, Harlow Council has to submit its own statement to the planning inspectorate on this matter by the 28th of December. Within this statement, we will be making it clear that councillors are entitled to express their views as part of the democratic process and also that all decisions of the Development Management Committee are collective decisions. Given that this is a quasi-judicial process, I am not able to make any further comment on this matter. Councillor Devon, do you have a supplementary? And whilst I welcome the uh, leader's uh, acceptance of the decisions made by the planning committee or a collective decision. Could I press you further and can I push you to openly declare that you agree with me that the comments associated by to the church are unfounded and offensive to our colleagues on this committee? If you're not able to do that, is this going to be seen as another example of your inability to lead anything, let alone lead a council? You should be standing with me defending the democratic rights of our democratically elected comrades, and we should not be tolerating and we should not be accepting these offensive words. Will you agree with me? As ever, Chair, I'm not really sure which one of the several supplementary questions I'm meant to be answering there, but I'll, I'll do my best. Well, um, anyone would help. And well, um, I'll tackle the one about my inability to leave. Give yeah, us a chance, yeah, yeah. Tony. It's only been a month. Um, <laughs> and you had 10 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, on the one about discriminatory uh, comments, I'll refer back to previous statements I've made on this that I do not believe that um, there is a place for any discrimination against any religion, faith, or anybody of any sex, gender, or creed. And so I would fully support um, any attempts to try and stamp that kind of thing out. 
as I say, I cannot make any further comment on this particular matter as this is a quite a judicial process. Uh, and I think I've made my statement clear what I think about um, people that are intolerant of others' faiths. Equally, um, individual councillors are uh, accountable for their own words if they breach any of those rules. Um, and, and that is not for me to decide on a, on a, on a win. So you don't support councillors, rather than a heckle. Thank you. Uh, 